Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are here on the tutorial world, about to do a tutorial, guys. But before I start this video, I want to say thank you for all the support on the season one or season two episode one video, guys. There's something crazy like seven likes and like 15 views, guys. That's amazing. Thank you for hitting that like button and subscribing and watching guys but to now we're gonna get into the video and the video is three simple redstone inventions you will need or want to have after watching this video so let's get right into it our first one is actually down here you can see the creeper I'm still falling down it's right here now I call this one the flush armor equipper yes it does kind of have you know three rugs but I still call that flush because it's flush with the wall and it's actually a really simple design I came up with um, I got in my inspiration inspiration from uh, FedEx Gaming, who actually used, like, a ton of comparators to make this, and I figured, well, can't you just send, like, uh, four signals through a chain of repeaters, and that's what I did, guys, so, um, there are, uh, f four pieces of armor in here, you can see I am fully declothed, and if I stand on this piece and hit this button, you can see I get boots, chest plate, some helmet action and some pants action and it's so simple like I didn't catch it there uh, but like just four ticks of uh, uh, or four you know uh, signals come around so one two three and four which give you the four different armors now or the four different pieces of armor it only does work with one piece of uh, or one set but I'm pretty sure that should be fine with everyone uh, since it dispenses randomly, but to reset the system, you just throw your um, armor on these two pieces of carpet, which has armor under it, and I'll show you again, nothing on, and you can see it totally reset the system. Now it's coming out in a different order, but that's always how it does it. So, some really cool, neat stuff, guys, um, and just reset it again, and um, the time should be on the screen, I would say. How about now? For, uh, if you want to build it, go to this time, and you will be able to build this invention. So it's really sweet, flush, only, like, one button. I mean, uh, I could make it to where it's activated by a redstone torch in the corner or something. But I feel like this looks even better because it's not really secretive. And it's pretty cool, and it's really simple, and only needs redstone repeaters, which almost everyone can afford because it's just two redstone torches. Um some stone and some redstone so really simple stuff guys and go to that time if you want to build it now our next invention or uh thing is this now this um has a few different versions of it i'm going to just show you by building all of them but one works with those and then this is just one other version so you can see with the ladder this is kind of hard it's a mine it's a slime block elevator by the way if you couldn't tell but it's kind of hard with the ladder because it's hit spot hit box is really big so I like to use vines um, because they don't have a hit box so uh, as long as you don't hit the block like I just did you should be fine so like that you see I climbed up the vines there and then sometimes I just like uh, to add let's get crouched here um, this little pipe so like there's no way you can mess up in midair or anything it does look kind of weird but you will never miss and you can just pop up like that so this is a really cool sandbox elevator it's really simple if I were just to destroy this little uh, line of quartz you could see it only takes um it needs about eight ticks and just needs some redstone going in the piston and that's really easy and it's really efficient too because you can go up multiple floors with it in like a diagonal direction or like have it built on one side then have it built on next then over there i think it would look really cool like that and all you need is one slime box so it's pretty cheap guys so um if you want to build this uh the time should be on the screen now so yeah, guys, that is uh, this simple invention. Now, I was thinking about including this, but this seems too simple, and of course, it could be set off by sheep. So I came up with a more, uh, let's say, explosive invention. Yes, that's right. It's all the way in my explosive corner, so nothing else gets blown up. 
but it is the TNT launcher guys these are two designs I made uh, again like everything else I build I cannot take credit for it because Minecraft community is so huge that anyone could have built this but I'm uh, I'm pretty confident I came up with one of these see this is a design uh, after I built it I like looked up and I kind of saw some people have the basic of this design without this redstone torch tower or like the second block they would have it like another block down here which I thought was just weird but this one I I'm almost a hundred percent positive I came up with myself I haven't seen this one anywhere but uh yeah guys so these are the two designs I have um, these ones will not be having a tutorial because they are so simple and you can see all the redstone from out here. So before I show you, uh, give you a look away view so you can build them, I'm just going to show you what they do. So this is a TNT launcher, shoots 30 blocks away. Let's see it in action. You can see it goes straight down in this hole, super far down. Um, that probably went 35 blocks through the hole and nothing hitting it. So yeah something around 30 to 35 blocks now this uh one shoots 25 away and i would argue sometimes it goes 30 you can see that one went almost 30 you can see a lot were landing here at the start i would say that one went almost 30 um but they also tend to sail to the left or the right a little bit for no apparent reason so yeah guys those are the two tnt launchers both used two slime box and this one over here is my favorite because look how simple ineffective it is and it's probably even better than this one but um i'll get a look away view so you can see everything i think that should be good i think you can see everything right there uh this is a dispenser by the way if you use a dropper it will not work uh you can hook it up to a pressure plate if you want anything but uh, let me just go over the basis of the design. So you're going to want a repeater on three ticks. That's important. And a repeater on one normal tick. And just remember your redstone torch tower. It will work out great for you guys. And if you mess with the timing at all. This includes the redstone torch tower. Because those add ticks. The whole thing will not work. But anyways guys. Here's the second one. Simple. Really all you have to have is the suspenser facing upward. With a button on it. TNT in it. Um, a repeater on one tick and a repeater on three ticks. The repeater with one tick facing into a block with a piston and a slime block on it. And the repeater with three ticks facing into a piston with another slime block on it. It's really simple. I'll just demonstrate it again. And this is one of my favorite inventions of all time. You can see it's a, a pig slaying machine, guys. So, yeah. Those are the three. Um, I'm going to get building the uh, armor equipper. Hey guys, so we're here about to start building the uh, armor equipper, guys. So I've already built up the wall you guys will need. I assume you guys already have a wall you want this to be built on. But anyways, so everything in my hot bar is what you need. Of course you won't need 64 white carpets or 64 quartz blocks or 64 repeaters or 64 redstones. Uh, this is just, um, you can use any building block you want. I like using quartz. And I'm sure you don't need this much, but you might. And repeaters, it's more like 20 or 40, but I'm too lazy to count. And redstone is more like 10 or 20. But uh, just have a lot of it on hand. They're really useful. But the rest are equal measurements. So let's get uh, started. First of all, you're going to want to place your button down. That's the first step. See, that's part one of like six. We're already done with one. So now you can see I have a little hole in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and set up my dispenser and hoppers. So, I'm going to put my dispenser right here, and my two hoppers facing into it, like this. Now, you can put your dispenser in the middle if you want, with one hopper facing into it on this side, and one facing into this side. But I think it uh, looks a lot better for there, for some reason. And, if you want, you can just put your carpet over it now. So, you got the front built up, but now you actually got to get to the meat of the redstone. So, behind your wall, you're going to want to have... Your button start your input so like this just run the wire down onto the normal ground so we can get our repeater started here guys I'm gonna cover this hole up um, so now here's where the simplicity of the repeater start you just want to have um, one repeater facing into a block like this now this is going to be your first pulse the one that gives you your first piece of armor so this is very important because if this does not work then the rest of it will not work so you want a repeater on one tick facing into this block, 
and then turn right of this block, um, have a, another repeater on one tick, now turn behind you and put another repeater on one tick, facing in to your, uh, and then run a redstone line out of this um, repeater into your um, dispenser. So this is the dispenser right here, so you just want to run a line into it like that. So very simple uh, stuff guys, I'll get back so you can see it. And the next um, step, it's going to get even easier. We're going to uh, start a repeating pattern. So now you guys have seen it. On this block, um, to where your first repeater faced into a block, you want to set out two repeaters on four ticks in the north direction or the direction you're facing. And then put those into a block. Turn to your right, put a repeater down, put it on four ticks. And then put another block down, turn behind you, and put two more repeaters on four ticks. You see this will create your second pulse, and now we just have to copy it again for the third pulse. So you just want to put two repeaters down on four ticks, facing into a block, turn to your right, put another repeater down on four ticks, put it into a block, put two more repeaters down on four ticks, and there you have it. That's your third pulse. Now we have our last one, two repeaters down on four ticks into a block um, with one more repeater to the right on four ticks then turn around and put two more on four ticks so I'll get back in a second I know I went through that uh, quickly but I'm sure you guys can handle it you can see it's very easy stuff um, and now all we it's really prepared now so um, you watch that if you need to and make sure you have everything right while I grab the armor to throw in here and we're just going to throw it into the hoppers we have under these carpets. So that's one piece of armor, two piece, three piece, four piece. So now if we get on our dispenser here, you can see no armor on. Got our helmet, got our boots, got our pants, and got our chest plate, guys. So that is how you build the simple armor equipper, guys. Really simple, really easy redstone build that you will need. Hey guys, um, so you've decided to sit through the video and watch me do this, or you wanted to build this slime block elevator. So here we are, and I'm going to show you how to build it. All the resources you need are on my hotbar. You need uh, one sticky piston, uh, some building blocks of your choice, one slime block, about ten redstone. You probably need less than that. You don't need that much. Uh... You need two repeaters or more because you need at least eight ticks, uh, seven furnaces or immovable blocks, and one pressure plate or button to hook it up to. I like using pressure plates, so that's what I'm going to use to show you. But anyways, guys, let's get right into it. So um, I built the basic um, box that you'll need around it or something. Uh, and this is the level of the floor, so you're going to want to dig one down from your floor, um and the whole area even under your little wall down here and by the way your wall should be five uh high from the floor area because th that's about how high this goes you can even argue it goes six but i like putting it at five so the first thing we want to do here is just simply put in our um stone pressure plate or pressure plate or button and you're going to want to put two pieces of redstone down like this leading it into here so once you guys got that done, it's time to use one of your repeaters and face it like this, uh, this way towards the wall with four ticks on it. Now you just want to continue your redstone line around here, put it under the wall, then t make a sharp left turn, and then here's where you want to use your second repeater, right here. So you've got a total of eight ticks now. I'll back up so you guys can see that. I know I'm going a little fast, but I'm sure you guys can handle it. So pause the video now if you need a simple or you need this simple picture. All right, guys. So you should have had enough time to pause it there. Now here comes the simple part. All you need to do is put your um, put your sticky piston facing upwards with the slime block on top of it. Should be even with the floor. And now here comes the last part. All you need to do is put your seven immovable objects around this sticky piston, like I do it here. If you do it in another way, it won't work. And then you need to put three more on top of these ones. So you can see, now all we have to do is cover up this floor, so you don't see the redstone. And boom, you are done. Now, like I said, you can add this little part 
uh, going up, and you can build the ring up top if you want, like this. So just like boom, boom, boom. You don't need you there. Boom, 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 boom. See, so see, we got the ring at the top, and we got everything in place. So now, if we were to test it out. You can see we pop right up perfectly, guys. So that is how you build the slime block elevator, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like these three simple, easy builds you will need on your world, leave a like in the, uh, in the like section, whatever it's called, and subscribe, guys. Leave a comment um, if you used any of these in your world. And I'm going to say peace out for Junior and goodbye for me. Peace out and goodbye, guys.